Hello and welcome to a new video about measurement. We are still talking about pressure measurement. This time we are talking about installation of pressure gauges. How to install them? Well, we heard a lot of how pressure gauges are working and so on and how we want to install them somewhere in the field. We have usually, I don't know, some vessel, uh, some pressure vessel, some pressurized piping or whatever and we want to measure the pressure what we have to take care about well there are some things we have to take care about or we have to at least to think about and and prevent damage or wrong measurement for instance one one thing is the level of the pressure measurement yeah, let's say we have somewhere here a tube This is filled, I want to measure the pressure in there. Yeah? So if I now make here a little hole, then a little pressure measurement tube, yeah? bring it, I don't know, maybe to another floor the pressure and put there my pressure gauge. Yeah? Then I have to consider the height difference. Here we have a height difference. This pressure gauge is showing less pressure than actually there is, because there is water column, liquid column, gas column, I don't know, yeah, which have a certain weight and this weight will pull down yeah, and so I will have less pressure up here than here, depending on the height H. If I mount it below, then I measure too much pressure, because then I have the pressure here, and I have the pressure, additional pressure of the weight of this column, huh? whatever fluid this is, okay? depending on the, if it's, if it's <laughs> mercury, it's extreme, if it's water, it's already noticeable, if it's just some gas, then it also depends on the original pressure. Ooh, the density is changing. Yeah. So we have to think about that. Yeah, we have to think. We have to take this in consideration: the height difference between the measurement point and the actual position where the measurement is happening. I mean, it's obvious, but it needs to be mentioned. Then, let's say we have somewhere a band in our tube, like that. Yeah. If I measure the pressure here, I will measure a totally different pressure than if I measure the pressure here. Because, let's say, the liquid is streaming in that direction, so I have here the radial forces, which will add additional pressure here and lower the pressure here. So I have to consider the streaming of my liquid inside a tube. Okay, so I have to do, maybe I will notice, I will notice here, yeah. consider, height, and here we have consider, streams, yeah. so we have on one side, we have here a reduction, yeah? reduced pressure, here we have, here we have more pressure, simply because my stream will go up here and it will concentrate the pressure on the upper side or on this side, on the outer side of, the, of my... There are even flow measurement systems which work that way, that you have, that you measure the pressure difference between the outer and the inner part, and then you know how much flow there is in. If there is no flow, the pressures are the same. Yeah? Actually, flow also needs to be considered, because the more flow is, the more kinetic energy, and the less, the less uh, potential energy there is inside. All right? 
So, what else has to be considered? Maybe this tube is, you know, made of steel or something like that, yeah? And the content uh, is maybe cold. Uh, then we have some condensate building on the tubes, all right? So, this is a bad idea, yeah? This is a bad idea. If you have condensating humidity, you should do it like that. That the amount the pressure gauge, I am always drawing these pressure gauges here. Yeah? Uh, it can be also an electronic sensor without display uh, anything. That then it's you know because here condensate will down and here condensate is dripping. Dripping from the pipe and will not reach my measurement device. Okay, here condensate is reaching gauche. Okay, here it will flow directly into the measurement. I mean, this, I mean, there is corrosion stuff. Yeah, make a little. Thing like that, yeah. thing like that. There would be also a possibility if you really are in a situation where you have to measure pressure shortly after band, where you don't know exactly the streaming and so on. Then could be the possibility that you have somewhere here is the tube where you want to measure the pressure in, yeah, and you really want to be accurate. Then you can make here four connections. Make some sort of ring line. This is some sort of ring line. Inside here you can then place the pressure gauge. Yeah. Inside this ring line, the different pressures from here, 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 and here has the possibility to, to level each other. All right. So inside the ring line, there's the average pressure. Ring line. Average. Pressure. And then you could avoid some such things like that. Uh, usually, then there are also <sighs> valves here to shut off and so on. Yeah, this, but this is expensive, right? Uh, if you don't want to do this, if you have another better place, put it in a better place. If you cannot avoid, you could use it like that, that there is a ring line which is distributing the pressure from the different pressure measurement points. Yeah, that, that are typical things which needs to be considered when installing pressure gauges somewhere. Yeah. Consider streams, consider the height, consider condensating possibility. Actually, that's it. Yeah, yeah. this was the last video about measurement. It was a quite long series of video, yeah? so we did a lot of measurement stuff. I hope you have not forgotten what I previously told you in this series of videos. Uh, but finally it's over. Yeah? All good things must come to an end. I All which is left for me is to say thank you very much for listening. Yeah? There are also other series of videos dealing with automation technology. Yeah. You can watch them. You don't need to. You can. You're invited to. I would like you to watch it. However, yeah. I wish you a good day still. Yeah. Goodbye.